Greetings, Hastings residents, young and old. Welcome to Strangely Local, a Hastings Community TV original production. My name is Alec Matheson, and I will be your host. We've all read and seen stories of people going back in time and interacting with the world of yesterday. It is so common, such a concept isn't that strange anymore. But you know what would be strange? If the person did not intend to go back in time in the first place. Such was the case for Mason Goddard, who told us of this unusual event earlier today on the phone. Let's take a listen. Me and the wife took the kids to a new restaurant last Friday night to celebrate my birthday. Happy birthday! Thank you. About 25 minutes passed, and the kids were getting a little impatient. I looked at my watch. My youngest asked, why do I still wear it? I answered, and it was a gift my father gave me for my birthday 37 years ago. A few more minutes passed, and I needed to go use the restroom. On my way, I got lost and ended up walking through a hallway that just kept going and going. A kid came out of nowhere and ran right past me. He looked familiar, reminded me a little bit of myself at seven. Huh. When I reached the end, I thought I was in a different restaurant. It was like I had traveled back to 1977. Everything and everyone in the restaurant looked like they were from the late 70s with their hairstyles, the clothing, the music, the television sets. I wondered if it was one of those special occasion kind of things. Sure, sure. I heard somebody say my name. The voice sounded familiar. But before I could identify it, the kid from the hallway walked past by and took a seat at the table across the room. That was where I saw him. My dad. Wow. I did not know what to say. When my dad gave my younger self the watch, I walked away and went back where I came from. When I got back, our food had been delivered. The family had started on the breadsticks and the salad, but waited for me to cut the first slice. The rest of our evening went pretty normal. Well, Mr. Goddard, uh, thank you for sharing with us your story. We really appreciate it. Have a good day and uh, happy Halloween. You as well, sir. Truly an interesting and emotional story Mr. Goddard shared with us this evening. And what a restaurant. I will have to make a reservation. That does it for this week's episode of Strangely Local, a Hastings Community TV original series. We will see you again next week. Till then, Hastings, keep things strange. <laughs>